This morning, Brian took Molly to the woods for a walk, and when he went to the, the van to get some wet wipes, she sits at the little rubble, and a lady pulled in and hit the side of her. We took her straight to the vets. But they still don't know really what her extent is at the vets, because they said they need specialist x-rays and a specialist to see her. But she's definitely got a fracture on the front joint. She's only not 20 weeks. Yeah. 20 she's weeks out of pop. She's a baby. What we're, what we're saying, we're going to have to put her down, aren't we now? I think we're. I did not see this coming, but I think that that's. I understand it's not your fault. It's no one's fault. <laughs> I know. I'm coming back. Okay. Okay, no problem. We'll wait for you. Okay, thank you. I won't be long. Okay, bye. In every case, we have a tightrope to walk between between fixing the animal to get that animal out of pain and doing the right thing. And sometimes the right thing is euthanasia. And for me, it's an extremely distressing reality of everyday life as a, a vet. In a few minutes, I'm going to be holding Lisa in my arms with her sobbing her heart out. This is real life. Here, little thing, she is. <laughs> Mommy's girl. Mommy's girl. <laughs> Take your time. I'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> you know, she looks like a boy, don't she? <laughs> You're such a good girl. You're such a baby girl. Oh, baby girl. You beautiful girl. <laughs> no, no, Molly. 